Hello all, I am Gregory Luz and I will explain you a little bit about the IMM's key category interface. For this explanation, I'll use as an example our case study in Auckland, New Zealand. Where is the interface anyway? Well, in the IMM methodology, the interface is the key category composed by the integration between two IMM's horizontal layers, the void with the transportation. It could be also defined as the movability inside the urban morphological cavities, or as the permeability of the urban fabric, highly connected to another key category, the porosity. It's good to remember that the interface is about movability inside the urban voids, both pedestrians and motorized, and it defines how complex the network is. So, the interface increases the complexity of the system by increasing the number of possible links to connect two nodes. For the calculation of the system's interface, you use the UCL DAF map, which is an open source application to perform visibility analysis of architecture and urban systems. It is developed by the University College of London, where the theory of space syntax was introduced for the first time. It is easy to download, easy to use, and easy to find proper tutorials, so you will not have any problem dealing with it. I'll show you how we use the UCL DAF map to produce the visual materials and the calculation in the New Lens case study. The starting point in using the UCL DAF map using Autodesk AutoCAD or another type of vectorial software to produce baseline map, really just lines, without anything else. In this case, we had the New Lens DWG map, so what we did? We create a new network grid representing the connections available within the area. After that, we isolated in the file just the new grid. And then I saved the file in a DXX format just to be proper exported to UCL DAF map. OK, now we move to UCL DAF map. First thing is to open it and create a new workspace. Import the DXF file. Here we select the proper file and done. Here is our new grid map, all in white. The second step is to convert this new grid in actual map. So select map, convert in drawing map, and select the actual map option in the window new map type. Okay, we converted our map into actual map type. It is already with some colors, as you can see, but it is not showing the integration of the system yet, what we're looking for. So the further steps are opening the tool window, selecting actual convex patch option, and then selecting run graph analysis. It will open a new window asking some types of regulations, as radius, local measures, and so on. In order to calculate the global integration of the system, we let the radius as n. Now we have our integration map. The map is represented by colors, where warmer colors show the most integrated parts and the cooler colors the less integrated. To be sure that our network is all connected and that we run the analysis correctly, open the two node count and check if the map is all green. If your map is in a red and blue color as in the image, it means that the blue lines are disconnected from the rest of the network. When you're done with the map, we just save it as PDF file using the option print in order to use it graphically. In our case, we use the Adobe Illustrator to produce the final graphical map. Okay, to explain how we calculate it, let's turn back to UCL DAF map. When done with the integration map, you can notice that putting the cursor above the lines and the grid, you'll have a value. This is the integration value. So, in our case, we select the option Attributes and Column Properties. Clicking on this option, we have the average value of the integration. This is the average integration of the whole system. Now we have to check the values of our map's scale. So, we have to click on the option Window and then Color Range. Here we can check that our scale goes from 0.18 until 0.48. It is important to save these numbers because they will be useful later to compare the results. 
After the chains are defined by the new master plan, we retrieve the network saved as the exe file and import it to that map. Following the same, same steps that I explained before, we run the graph analysis and achieve this map. Don't forget to check the section node count to be sure that your network is right. After that, we select the option attributes and column properties. Now we have the value of the average integration after the change. In order to have this new map in the same scale of the old one, we click on window and then color range. Notice that now there are new values on the scale. To make possible the comparison between the maps, we use the same scale. In this case, we are using the same scale of the old map, 0.18 and 0.48. You can also use the values of the new scale on the old map. This is the new map with the same color scale as the old one. Comparing the two maps, we have the old one with an integration average value around 0.34 and the new map 0.39. It means that we had an improvement of 15.12% on the integration of our network. So that's it. I really hope you liked the presentation. If you are interested to know more about the IMM methodology, please visit IMMDesignLab.com or follow us on Facebook. Thank you.